All right, we are currently on a road called Little Germany Road. Never been on it before in my life. I don't think I want to ever come down it again. And that was it. This is the end of it. <clears throat> this is a road that's like, I don't know, 500 feet long. And this is Edwards Lane. Look at those bales of hay out there. <sighs> Makes me want to sing the theme song to Green Acres right now. so beautiful out here. That's a hard right turn or a right to see around there. I have no idea where I'm at now. I'm on Twin Church Road. Church! Oh my gosh! My girlfriend has this thing about church and the uh, Pet Cemetery movies? Either one, but <clears throat> either Pet Cemetery. Because we have this cat. His real name's Pepper, but she calls him Church. Because <laughs> this cat's possessed. <laughs> uh, Pepper's, Pepper's a good cat. He just doesn't like women. We, uh, we had actually given him away. Because he came from a family of Manx, and he had a tail, <coughs> and uh, you can't sell a Manx with a tail because nobody believes he's a Manx. So, whatever. Uh, I don't know what happened. The person that got the cat brought the cat back, and after that, the cat didn't like women anymore. Loves me, absolutely loves me, but. Uh, does not want to be anywhere near a female. So, I don't know. He might like, to, I think he'd like to be near a female cat, but just not female humans. But I couldn't, couldn't do anything bad to him. I couldn't put him down or anything. He's, uh, he's better than he used to be. But yeah, my girlfriend calls him church. <laughs> Quite a cat, let me tell you. Quite a cat. Very beautiful. Looks like his mother with a tail. Mother was absolutely beautiful. Her name was Chessa. And he's got a sister who's got the Japanese bobtail Manx look. Uh, like to the max. <laughs> And her name is Batgirl. And she's unusual. She likes to kill her food. She would, uh, she doesn't do it now, but used to. You give her food, 
and she had to kill it. She would pounce on it, beat it, swat it, claw it, and then she'd eat it. I'm not kidding. Very unusual. We didn't have any other cats that ever did that. But, uh, oh my, there's a dead deer and it's like bloated to the max. people would go deer hunting in Pennsylvania there are so many dead deer so many cars hit deer so many trucks it's on the interstate it's everywhere and it's a shame because you got all these deer that I don't have a problem with them being eaten eat all the deer you want well to a point let's not talk about extinction here but it's pointless to just let them become roadkill because there's so many of them and I know that it'll never end because we don't have the overhead like little overpasses for animals like they have in Europe we haven't got to that stage yet but anyway uh, I mean there's been people killed by hitting a deer my girlfriend was telling me this one woman hit a deer and uh, deer came through the windshield, went all the way into the back seat, the deer was not dead, that's the bad part, the deer was scared to death and kicked this woman until she was dead, killed her, so it's not always a matter of the deer getting killed, in this case, the person got killed. I knew a fella in New York, uh, he was driving a full-size Chevrolet pickup, and it, everything from the hood all the way to the bed, it took everything off of it. He hit a wild horse, and uh, sad, because you know the horse, if it didn't kill it, they had to put it down. He was lucky to be alive. His truck was totaled. Yeah. But, uh, anyway. Yeah, the, uh, the animal situation here is something else. The only thing I haven't seen hit on the side of the road is, uh, an elk. I've seen deer, turkey, cats, dogs chipmunks, squirrels, raccoons, possum, skunk. Pretty much everything. I haven't seen, I've seen fox, but I've never seen one hit on the road. But I've seen, I did have one run across the road in front of me once. And fox can really run. They are fast. At least the one I saw was. Wow, a power line almost on the ground. Or I guess it's a power line, I don't know. Some kind of line. You could reach up there and touch it, and that would not be a good idea. Don't try this at home. But, uh, hey, Le Martin. I've never been to Le Martin. Never heard of it. Salem Road. Wow, do people smoke a lot down this road? No, they shouldn't do that. Smoking could be hazardous to your health. Huh. If I go down this road a ways and then I see some stupid sign at the end of the road that says no outlet like the one the other day, I'm going to be ticked. You know, this is so stupid that they do that here. It's like, why would you not put that up at where you turn in before people go all the way down here thinking it goes somewhere? But whatever. We are on our way to Le Martin.
hoping there's a bathroom in Lamartine. At least they put it up here at the end of the road this time. And this road to the left is Sugar Valley. Huh. I wonder why they call it Sugar Valley. There's a mobile home with the siding coming off. It's probably not a good place to live. Could get a little cold in there in the wintertime. Uh, I don't know what they got planted over here. What is that? Corn. That's a lot of corn. <sighs> corn is so good. It's not just a fuel. <laughs> yeah, boy, that's beautiful fields. Beautiful fields. was I don't think because where am I oh wow I'm on Turkey City Road huh talk about getting to Turkey City the hard way but uh, yeah this is La Martine I have never been here before. <laughs> uh, 
nice place, really. Really nice. Really nice. Beautiful place. Gotta say, I'm more impressed with this than I am Turkey City. Which must be just behind me. Because whenever I went to Turkey City, I didn't come all the way down. Or up, or whichever way it is, this direction. Yeah. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Nice big pond there. To the right is a road I was on for a long time, County Line Road. To the left is, I'm not making this up, Brick Church Road. That's the name of this, Brick Church Road. We're going to pause it, or stop it here, and start up, or restart. <laughs> 